I'm not sure I could ask for nicer conditions in mid-December in the Northeast. It's not yet 8 a.m., I'm comfortable in a sweatshirt with no gloves on, and there's not a wisp of wind. Oh yeah, the fish are chewing pretty good as well. Here's my tip of the day. When you find something that works, keep doing it. Don't change a thing. Keep making the same cast, in the same direction, with the same lure. Work at the same depth and speed. If you were twitching it, twitch it the same way. If you weren't twitching it, don't twitch it. Fish aren't bright, and they certainly aren't independent thinkers. And stripers are like any other schooling fish in that regard. When conditions lead them to behave and feed in a certain way, you can be sure that other fish of the same species are reacting the same to those same conditions. There are likely more of them right where that one came from, waiting to eat whatever the last one missed of your lure for, and they're likely to hit the identical presentation. Follow that logic until you've made two consecutive casts without a bite before making any changes or adjustments to your approach. Ride that horse until it drops. Here I'm throwing a 5 and 3 quarter inch IU colored finesse fish on a 1 half ounce jig head. It's tied to some incredibly thin 10 pound suffix 832 grade. I'm casting down river but up current into the incoming tide and letting that current wash my bait towards and past me as it slowly sinks. As far as I could tell, the fish were coming up for my lure because, as you might be able to make out on the 12 inch element screen on the bow, the fish are holding pretty tight to bottom, yet all of my hits are coming high in the water column. Once a few bites clued me in to what they seemed willing to eat, I just kept making that same cast over and over again. For the sake of brevity, I cut this video off after the third fish, but it could have run for 9 fish and 10 casts over a 14 minute span before something changed and they stopped crushing that bait presented in the exact same way. Perhaps visibility changed with the rising sun, or the current speed started to slow as it got that much closer to full high, or I caught enough of the catchable ones that wanted to feed to make the school react by moving or simply turning off. Once the bite seemed to die off, I switched to a bigger bait on a heavier head, to no avail. Tried a different color on a quarter ounce head, and caught a couple, but it wasn't drawing steady action either. I even tried throwing the old Chandelier's single hook A-Rig a few times. But eventually, I capitulated and went looking for another bunch of fish. 10 or 15 minutes later, I was back into fairly steady action. 